Hey everybody, this is Natavia with Why Be Confused? Because life is already difficult. So why live it in a trance? Why? Why live it in a trance? Okay, so this channel is all about productivity and self-care. And I am only human. So I figured I would do a check-in with you. Let you know how I'm doing with my self-care and all the techniques that I've been using, the ones that I've let fall to the wayside, and the ones that I'm really good about keeping up with. This is a like no filter, like honesty hour, no makeup, no light, nothing, just me and my bonnet and my headset because I just got off work and I haven't taken it off yet. And I probably won't take it off because I've been sitting with it on for eight hours and it feels kind of comfortable. So. <laughs> like, being honest with you. So, enjoy my honesty. First things first, I want to know, do you guys want to hear about these check-ins or do you like to have everything behind the scenes? Like, I could tell you what's really going on in my life or would you like me just to give you the tips and leave it at that? Let me know in the comments. Okay, first things first, gratitude. You can look up in the cards because I talk about an app that I use for gratitude. Now, I refuse to pay for the premium version of that app because honestly, I don't think it offers me anything that I couldn't get anywhere else. Um, so it's not worth the money for me, but I like having the app because it's a place to store all my graciousness. <laughs> um, so because I haven't gotten the premium version, the prompts within the app get really repetitive and that's just not something I care for. But I still love that I have my gratitude jar that I can fill up with things and then when I'm not feeling well, I can go back in and look at it and like warm myself up and get all the warm fuzzies as well as being able to share it with like a community within the app that encourages me and like I can read the things that they say and like be like, yeah, I did have eight glasses of water today, or I do have a mattress that doesn't hurt my back. Like, things like that, that we don't really think about until somebody else says it, and you're like, oh yeah, you're right, I do have that. And I am very grateful for that, because those tiny little things being different would drastically change my life. So, as far as my self-care routine, being gracious has been really good. I've been very grateful of things um, that I have and now I'm working on being more grateful for people because people are complicated beings and um, we don't always appreciate them enough. So that is something I am working on within myself and hopefully by the next check-in I can tell you more about my progress on that. Food tracking. So this one goes on and on. I go like three weeks perfect with my food tracking and then like a month off and then get back so it's always a give and take um the best thing is with me meal prepping if i forget to put in a day i can easily go back and fix it because i know i had this meal and maybe just add like the snacks or things that's what i may have um but food tracking has kept me very mindful of how often i eat because i am one of those people who do not eat enough and I don't eat often enough. I won't remember to eat until like I'm like mid fall in a faint. And uh, that's not healthy. So the food tracking has been my way of like taking care of myself in that way and making sure I'm getting the nutrition that I need to sustain myself. Then I'm also mindful of my weight. Now I have tried to not think of the app as much as a weight loss app, even though it has like tips and help things to like help you measure your progress in that. I'm trying to make it feel more like a just accountability app for my progress as far as eating and working out and doing classwork versus a weight loss app where I'm like trying to put things in to make sure I reach a certain goal. Because when I think of it that way, if I have a day where I'm off track, I won't put it in. Because somehow in my brain, I think if I don't clock it into the app, then it didn't count. It's not how life works. But when I reprogram my mindset towards the app, 
um, I've gotten more consistent with it, especially when it comes to taking in my water um, because I have to drink water every day and I'm like clicking to get the water, then it's a lot easier for me to go in and put my food in and be very honest and open about it. Now, I will say I still cheat a um, If I had a burrito and I type in burrito, I'm gonna find the burrito with the lowest calorie listed in the search. I gotta get better at that. I have to get more accurate checking of the food versus, you know, trying to make myself look great. Nobody's ever looking at it, but for some reason I still cheat. I, I don't understand. But yeah, as far as that, I'm still doing great. There is a video in the card that will tell you more about that. So go look at it. The end self. That is also a video that I've done in the cards. You guys are catching up with me. I'm following up on the, the tips that I've actually talked to you guys about and letting you know where my progress is um, so that you guys don't think I'm just out here giving you guys advice that I'm not taking myself. Like I am trying my best to implement these things and I'm pretty consistent most of the time. Um, with Sanity Self, I was listening to it while I was in the shower. I have changed my approach to that because my shower time is my me time. Like, that's kind of bare minimum, right? Like, that's bare minimum. Now that I've been doing this self-care journey long enough, I feel like I need to carve out more time for myself outside of just basic hygiene and, like, fitness and wellness. Like, I need to, like, actually be carving out time for me to relax and reflect. So, I've been trying to move my sanity and self-time right before bed that is a different transition because I'm used to like multitasking it so I have been falling off of that but as it with any transition the more I keep up with it one day it's gonna finally stick so I'm gonna stay at it and the next check-in I'll let you guys know how that's going. What part about your self-care process is the hardest? Self-care is not about the spots and throwing flowers in a field and rolling around like self-care is like literally a process of refocusing on yourself and challenging some of the things about yourself um, that may need to be adjusted uh, and how you view the world so what about your process in this moment is the hardest and be very honest I'm gonna get to some nitty-gritty things in a minute let me know in the comments and guys don't forget to like subscribe share with your friends i mean i know my bonnet's not the most glamorous but i don't mind you know your friends <laughs> so next on the list are vacations so you can check up in the cards i talk about taking a break um, i talk about the difference between my vacations and my breaks um well no in that video i don't talk about the difference between vacations and breaks i just talk about the importance of taking a break uh but I do differentiate the two. A vacation is a period of time where there is there are there isn't any work or responsibility. While a break is when I am working but I am not extending myself to complete my projects. So I take a pause on my projects during that time to kind of give myself a break because I'm doing multiple projects as well as working two jobs. I can get burnt out really quick. So I have this system in place so that way I can maintain all these things without passing out or worse, flipping out on somebody out of frustration because I'm stressed out. My vacations are like Netflix Central. It's just me in my bed with my fluffy beats and my husband. And like, don't call me, don't talk to me. I may reach out because I may feel like being social, but nothing is done out of obligation during that time. And even my husband knows, like, I'm a big baby during my vacation. And honestly, if we could get somebody to come and, like, wait on us <laughs> in the house during that time, it'd be great. So that way he and I can be on vacation and, like, not do anything for me to maintain these vacations. Because I know eventually I'm going to have children and my family's going to be larger. Eventually between my husband and I, we're going to have more responsibilities career-wise, like with all the things that we want to do with our lives with our children, 
um, as our parents get older, we'll have more responsibility there. So I kind of want to build a foundation where I am already knowing when to take a time for myself or when to take time for just me and my husband. And mostly my vacations are that, like the only person I think about really in that time is my husband. Everybody else, like I love you, I care about you, I'll talk to you in a week. And that's kind of where it goes because you know, you gotta, sometimes you just gotta reconnect with your partner. And don't get me wrong, vacations aren't all the time. I'm trying to do them every quarter. So that means that's four weeks out of the year that I take to myself and I hide out from people. Y'all can be fine with four weeks. Y'all cannot see me for four weeks. It's okay. And it's okay for you to do the same thing. People, four weeks in, out of the 52 weeks in a year, yeah, four weeks is nothing. Enjoy yourself. Last part of my self-care journey is the hardest one for me, honestly. Um, I have been on a reflection tour. It's still in process. Um, there are some things that happened in my past where I am not quite sure if I was the hero or the villain. Um, and that's where you get into like the nitty gritty stuff of self-care and you're just like, I don't wanna. Um, but me staying in my own brain and like reflecting on it with myself has not been working. It's something has been sticking with me. Something needs to be hashed out. So a part of my reflection tour is actually reaching out to the people who were around me at that time and getting their take on it. Now it's been a few years, so I'm sure people won't remember exact details but people remember how you made them feel and that's really what I want to know how did I make you feel at that time um, because I am still human I want to be a businesswoman who has like multiple businesses I'm going to have tons of employees with different personalities and I want to make sure I come off in a way that is productive to my success and also I don't want to be harmful to anyone. I talk about like major corporations and that greed and that, but like it's very easy for us on an individual level to get there. It takes nothing for us to get there. So this reflection chore is to like check myself, right? Like go back and be like, was I in the right then? And like hear it from other people. Um, this is not an apology tour. This is not necessarily uh, defending myself toward. This is me just kind of being like, how did I make you feel? And kind of letting that person speak and going from there and taking notes and uh, going from there because their feelings are valid and I just kind of need to know. Um, it, it's just something as simple as I could rephrase a few things or I should have paused before I spoke in a couple moments. Then then that's what I need to do. Uh, this one hurts the most because I'm human and I don't think I did anything wrong. I see my side of it and I think that I did the best thing possible in every scenario. But that's not how the world sees it. And so I have to go and figure that out. Figure out how the world sees me and what I can do to improve that image. I know it's not the best thing and I'm gonna probably get side eyes like I've already had a few people not respond back to me because it was years ago so like people are like yeah, we don't need to talk anymore I get it uh, but it's something I kind of need to do for my growth I will let you guys know how that goes <sighs> it's not perfect but it's me and that's why this channel is why you can because we're all trying to find balance and be okay. Um, I am not claiming to know all of it. I am claiming to have been on a journey and want to share some pointers that I've learned along the way with you guys. And as I learn, there may be things that I've taught you now that I may have to redact later on. But I promise you I'm gonna be a thousand percent honest. If I find out something doesn't work, you will hear about it. Again, like, comment, subscribe, let me know how y'all feel. Let me know if you've ever been on a reflection tour or 
a version of that um, and how it went. I'm, I've gotten some responses, but I'm still terrified of the rest of them. And I don't really know how honest people are going to be. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you guys later and have a beautiful, ugh, mm, let's try that again. Have a beautiful butterfly, sunshine, rainbow filled day. Bye.